Hello guys, welcome to the Daily Comp video by me, Equal Espresso, and oh, I'm so stuffed. I just had um had some Subway, and you know, it's it was all good, and I'm just like, oh, ready for a nap. Sadly though, um, got hockey in about like 20, 25 minutes to like, I gotta leave for, so I can't really nap. Uh, oh well. But today, um, I'm bringing you a commentary on resistance for um, Kill Confirmed, I believe it was. Well, yeah, Kill Confirmed. So I didn't even really pay attention to what type of gameplay I was bringing on you guys. That's that's not good. Um, but yeah, so this this is a I start out extremely mediocre. Um, but then and then like the uh, the the final like three minutes or so, uh, I think I get a total of 18 kills in about two minutes. So. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I, I ended up 29 and, f 29 and 14, I think. So it's 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 all right. Um, so I'm using my ACR class, and my ACR class is actually I love my ACR class. Um, got my ACR silenced um, with kick. No, no, no. I have impact on on it. Sorry. Um, and then I'm running the specialist with Scavenger Pro. Quick draw and stalker. Um, for for my specialist there, and that's that to me just works because I use sleight of hand, get that quick draw automatically for like reloads, and um, and then with the two points, two two points for the specialist, I just automatically get that that, that um, uh, that extra scavenger. Sorry, um, and I'm also running uh assassin and dead silence assassin just because I like. Even though you may call me a noob, um, I like being undetected. I like having that presence of just like not being seen and being able to be that determining force that um, that people will will not really want to fear, but like they can't really do much about. Um, and then dead silence because I just personally I just hate hearing my footsteps in Call of Duty. I actually like it. Legit sucks. I hate it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's yeah. That's that's my basic run through my class. Um, personally, I love it. It's my, it, I use it all the time. I just started using the, uh, PP90, so, um, I might end up using that a little bit, and that, that, I got a good class for that. I forget it, what it is off the top of my head. I'd have to, have to watch some gameplay to, to let you guys know what it is, but it's, it's not bad. Um, but today, that's kind of, I'm kind of straying away from what I want to talk about today. Today, I want to talk about the, um, the lag compensation that Infinity Ward has been putting in everything. You can see throughout the the, uh, the match that uh, I'll lag ever so often, and it's because there's just crappy crappy hosts everywhere, and then the lag compensation it brings you down to their level. Like, why should anybody, if you have a good connection, be punished like that? Um, personally, I think they sh they should have some dedicated servers to the the to for the the users that have good connection and that are actually not gonna lag and that'd be awesome because then we could all just have our own server then and not worry about lag and it would just be it'd be perfectly fine and it would be just 100 percent completely compatible with with the gamers that actually have with that have good connections like it, it bugs me all the time because i'll just step out like maybe like five feet but then it'll like launch me clear off the map because the the lag compensation um it, it's times like that when I just want to be like, dude, fix your damn connection. You actually suck. Honestly, hate you. Um, and it's times like those where it it leads to me rage quitting in, in Call of Duty. And this is a little off topic, but I honestly think that one day there's going to be studies shown that show that Call of Duty increases, like, or leads to, like, heart disease and all that because people get so stressed out about it. Um, but, yeah, so back to the topic at hand. The lag compensation, I just think it needs to be removed. I know they put it up in the patch um, a couple weeks ago, but they they need to remove it. It's it's pathetic, and there's just it's, it it needs to be removed because it just takes a level of fair gameplay and bumps it down a notch, in which not everyone can play at the same level because their connections are shitty. Um, but I mean, Infinity Ward, if you like. It, I don't think anybody from Infinity Ward will do anything about it. Sadly, sad to say, but that's just the way I see it. Um, it's 
it's, that's, yeah, that's just the way I see it. So, um, another thing that like caught my attention in this game is the amount of OP weapons. Overpowered weapons, despite all the nerfs uh, in the patches and stuff that, that everybody's been doing, they still are extremely overpowered in some of them. Like, um, I, I'm not sure if it was this match or the next one afterwards, but I got, um, I got, I got completely, like, just dominated with a Type 95 by the one guy on their team. And that, to me, is still one of the most overpowered weapons. Um, ACR seems like it's a little sketchy. That's, I mean, I use it because it is known for being overpowered, but it, it seems like sometimes I just get outgunned by the stupidest stuff. Like, I got an, I got a UMP, um... I got outgunned by that one time, and with an ACR, like, and it's, like, not, it's a long range, and assault rifles, such as the ACR, are supposed to be long range guns, they're supposed to reach those capabilities, I'm 45 is more of a, uh, it's more of a, like, close range, in my opinion, and I just don't understand how, how it beat me out that one time, so, I mean, I guess, I guess it's whatever, but, who knows, so this is the start, um, this is the start of whenever I go that 18 and... 18 and 18 and I think 18 kills in two minutes or something like that. Um, you can certainly count if you want, but that's kind of stupid. And two minutes was a little exaggerated. Um, and it's from now until the end of the match, so about about four minutes. Um, but it's 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 not bad. I I was going so hard at this point. I'm just like, you know what? I want a mob. I want it so bad. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna get up there. And I ended up getting like a 11, 12 kill streak. And then I just died and it sucked. It was a bad feeling. I felt I felt terrible. I was like hopes and dreams smashed. Goodbye. <laughs> but what what actually surprised me is um I took advantage of like something that else is a problem in MW3. The spawning is um is actually awful. The spawn system is just so bad. And you'll see it later on in this video that I just took advantage of it because right where I'm aiming down sight here now, um, after my streak breaks, I literally pick off s four or five people in a matter of like five seconds just from just chilling and just like looking down sights right at their spawn. And um, honestly, like as much as I like to see that get that feed going, that shouldn't happen. It, j it just shouldn't happen at all. Um, and that's something that I think should should be fixed, but again, I'm not sure if it will get fixed. So one can only hope, I guess. Um, but who, who knows? It's it's just a little uh, a little crazy. But for a little update on my channel, um, I am recently I've recently been trying to get some more content up in order to get my um, my statistics keeping it going and all that and. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of stuff coming. Um, I still need to put up a test drive unlimited video. I have not gotten around to that yet, so I apologize. Um, but I shall get to that very soon. And then also the uh, Minecraft multiplayer with Monrixter. I got some good feedback on that, so um, I think I'm gonna continue doing that with him. I know he enjoyed it very much, and um, so did I. So we're gonna we're gonna keep doing that, and hopefully you guys just can continue to watch it and like it. Because we both have a ton of fun doing it, and that's really all it's about, is just having fun and entertaining you guys. So, here's what I'm talking about with the spawn, right here. Um, you're going to see me pop up, I'm going to get three people here, um, but then whenever I go behind that gate there, to the to the left, right where like that little camping spot is, where everybody camps, I go there for about five seconds, and I'll pick off almost half their spawn, and it's actually kind of pathetic, like... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love getting the kills, but you just saw me kill that guy literally three seconds later, or three seconds ago, and I just, I got him again as soon as he spawned, and, I mean, I'm not complaining personally, but, like, if that was me, I would be super pissed, so, can can we try and get the spawns fixed? I mean, there are so many problems with MW3, it's a great game, but it's got so many flaws and problems, too, and it's just, it's whatever, um... I mean, I'd, I'd like to see some changes, but I don't think they're going to happen. So I guess we're going to have to live with what we have now and pray that a patch or something comes out. But this video is drawing to a, towards an end. So any feedback you have, leave a comment, like, subscription. If you drop a subscription, please, please do so. It, it very much helps me out. Um, it, and it honestly means the world to me because it 
shows me that you want to be a uh, avid viewer of my videos, and that I'm not doing this just 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 for the hell of it. So if you can do that, that'd be awesome. Um, but thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow. So until next time, guys. I've been Equal Espresso. Peace out.